Greetings everyone and welcome to week one of Summer Challenge 2021 Tales and Tales. This week's program is we are going to be making silhouette animals. Grab and go kits for these were available on Monday. If there are any left, these are first come first served. So if there are any left at the library, then you can feel free to grab one of those kits and follow along as we make one together. The idea is that we are taking old book pages to make the shape of an animal. So we're taking old tales to make new tales so that we can tell tales about the new tales or something like that. So let's get started. Okay everyone, so for our silhouette animals, your grab and go kit is going to come with one five by seven picture frame, a stencil for your actual animal, two pages from an old used book, and a half piece of um, black matting paper. Now if you were not able to get a grab and go kit for this, no worries. Uh, the doll the picture frame is from Dollar Tree. You can actually pick one up there for a dollar. Um, the silhouette I just printed out. You can also draw your own. And then any old book that you have will do for your pages. And then any other any old paper that you have will do as long as it is a thick cardstock. You are also going to need a glue stick or another type of glue. You could use liquid glue as well, but I find that this is less messy. You're also going to need a pencil or a colored pencil or a piece of chalk to trace your silhouette onto your dark paper. And lastly, you're going to need something to cut with. So you're going to need scissors and an X-Acto knife might also come in handy. Make sure if you're using an X-Acto knife that you are being extra careful and asking an adult for help if you need it. So to get started, I am going to go ahead and open up my picture frame. So I'm going to just go ahead and take this out and I'm going to take out the sample photo. Now don't throw this away because the sample photo is actually going to work perfectly for tracing your matting paper. So you're going to line this up with your matting paper and then this is where you're going to go ahead and just trace the outsides there. I'm using a yellow colored pencil because the lighter color is going to show up a little bit easier on this paper whenever I go to cut. Okay, so now that we have traced our square rectangle on here, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut this out. Okay, so now that this is all cut out, gonna put this down here. So what we're gonna do is take our stencil with the blue side and we're going to flip it over so that the white side is showing. And now from here you're gonna start your collage. So in order to make your collage or your mosaic, whatever you want to call it, you're gonna take your pages of your book and you're just gonna start cutting random pieces. So don't think about it too much really, you're just cutting pieces, kind of treat it as like a meditation practice. You can make really long pieces, really short pieces, you can do thicker pieces, you can do thin pieces, it's really up to you. And you're basically just going to keep cutting until you run out of paper. Alright, so now we have a full page cut up. I'm going to hold off on cutting the second page to see if we need it. But what we are going to do now is take our pieces of paper and we're just going to start gluing them down. So I'll start with this guy here and glue that down. All right. Step one is done. You're just going to keep repeating this process until you cover most of the page. If you glue something down and you end up with a little gap like this, that's okay. You can go ahead and just glue something right over. And in order to figure out whenever you're done, you're just going to keep gluing these strips down until you can hold this up to the light and see that the bare is no longer peeking through. Okay, 
so we have a long way to go. Okay, so as you can see, we are getting closer to the end. You can see part of the bear peeking out right here still. So we're gonna keep going until we can't see that blue showing through anymore. Okay, so holding this up, it looks like everything is covered. And we still have our blue bear on the other side. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and let this dry. If you have something heavy to place on top of it to keep it kind of flat while it dries, then that is awesome. If not, no worries. Just go ahead and let it sit for probably about, oh, I'm gonna say 30 minutes just to be on the safe side. Um, you want that glue to be completely dry so that way when we go to cut the bear out, that it is not going to gum up your scissors. So, um, take a break, drink some water, um, and just let this dry for a while. <laughs> and I will see you in a few moments. All right, so we are back, and our glue is pretty dry, it would seem. So our next step is we are going to cut out our stencil. So flip over to the other side that has your outline, and you are just going to start cutting. And you're going to just be as careful as you can be, and just cut slowly. Okay, so we have our bear entirely cut out. And we can see that on the opposite side, we have a lovely little mosaic of book pages. So now, the next step that we are going to do is glue our bear to our background image. And before we do that, I do notice that there are a couple of white pieces, white little white spots on my bear. So um, there are two things you can do. You can either leave it as is and say that it's totally fine, which is what I'm going to do, or you can go ahead and glue over extra strips of your book pages, and then you'll just flip it around and trim the edges off. Um, mine are very small, so I don't think that they're very noticeable. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue my bear onto my page. So to do that, I'm going to take my glue stick again and some scrap paper. And I really want to make sure I coat this bear. So we're going to get all of the edges. pick it up and I got a little bit on the front that's okay it's purple disappearing glue so it will not be visible once it is dry so now we are going to center this bear or wherever we want it we can have it a little bit down a little bit up a little bit to the side other side you could have it going off the page that would be kind of cool if you wanted to do off the page and then slice um, his butt off essentially um, it's up to you, wherever you want to put them. I'm just going to put them a little bit off-centered here in the lower left-hand corner. And then I'm just going to press them down. And voila! Now we're going to go ahead and let them dry. Okay, so now that our bear is dried and glued onto our back piece here, at this point you can kind of take some creative liberties. So you can take some extra book pages and you could cut out specific words and do a little quote across the top. You could draw a little picture up here, you could add some emojis, you could basically do whatever you want. <laughs> Get creative and see what looks cool. Um, so once you are finished with your bear and the background, then you're going to flip it over and place it into your frame. And then whichever side the bear is on, um, like standing on, which is this way for me, you want to make sure that your little, um, I don't know, stand, <laughs> your picture frame stand is on that same side. So we'll just place this in like this and then push these down and then we'll flip it over and there we go. 
a cute little uh, decoration for your bedroom, your locker, or your dorm. If you'd like, you can paint the outside frame or you can leave it just like it is. It is totally up to you. Thank you so much for joining me for week one of Summer Challenge 2021 Tales and Tales. Make sure you check out this week's Beanstack activity for your journal, where the assignment is to go outside, look up at the clouds, and reflect on what kind of shapes you see, and then afterwards either write about it or draw it. New grab and go kits will drop on Monday for next week's program, and the next program will be posted next Wednesday. So I will see you then, and happy summer challenge!